This is another video in the series on agroforests, which have the potential to solve all challenges, including climate challenges, combined with gasification of agroforestry products to also generate on location substantial income with very sought after and expensive products like graphene, graphite and similars. This combination is especially and extremely important for the agriculture sector itself, because it provides a sustainable and always more productive practice, contrary to current agriculture that inevitably leads to ever more degeneration and loss of soils. This combination and these two aspects can define whether human beings will continue to exist with normal to good quality of life and reasonable to superior life expectancies, and whether renewable energies will finally make a full breakthrough and make our economies and agriculture fully sustainable as well as transportation and traffic in general much less polluting and will make us prosper like never before. Agroforests for climate and gasification for graphene and similars also have a lot to do with superior quality of life in cities, communities, etc. With these two aspects in place, life in cities, etc., can and will become sustainable and will finally enable sustainable lifestyles in sustainable cities. This will be favorable for the global environment, especially if those who do not have direct activity in carbon agroforests would choose to live in these sustainable cities. When cities, etc., heat up during the day, and a heat dome is eventually formed, and low pressure is formed above the cities, communities etc., the surrounding agroforests will cool down the cities etc. and will absorb carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, because the surrounding agroforests vigorously remove these gases from the air through enhanced and substantial photosynthesis. So while cities etc. warm the air above them, the incoming cool air from the forest will continually replace the warm polluted air with cool filtered air from the agroforests which is also low in greenhouse gases. The nearby agroforests, one, will prevent the heating of cities, etc. by sunlight and will prevent the formation of a heat dome and, two, will also avoid thermal inversion conditions, as the forests absorb the inverted air, stagnant and polluted smog from the cities, simply because in these cases the forests generate areas of low pressure and will draw in inverted air from the cities, that is polluted and supersaturated with greenhouse gases from cities, communities, etc., and subsequently cool down the cities, communities etc., filter and remove the accumulated carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from the from the cities drawn in air. At this point cities, communities, etc. will draw in fresh and cool air from the air above them. At some point, the forests will or will be part of factors that will unlock the inversion or cause the breakthrough of a heat dome and release all types of stress from cities, communities, etc. Resuming, Carbon agroforestry in combination with gasification and the production of graphene and similars, generating extreme incomes. 1. Provide sustainable and renewable products such as food gases, other forms of renewable energy and basic materials to cities, communities, industry, refineries, etc. 2. Fertilize and improve carbon agroforests and their soils, increasing their capacity to solve all challenges. 3. Cool cities, communities, etc., type of air conditioning during summer, and avoid further heating due to the decrease or removal of greenhouse gases. 4. Ventilate and purify the air of cities, communities, etc. When agroforests are grown in a large country or on continental scale, this will benefit cities, etc., the world and the global climate. In other words, carbon agroforests will feed the world with abundant, sustainable, natural, healthy and organic foods and provide the world with renewable and superior energy, fuels and basic materials. When all monoculture agriculture is transformed into carbon agroforests, these forests can produce about 100 times our real global energy needs, including electricity and traditional fuels, as well as about 100 times our real global food production. Only by absorbing, removing, and producing with the carbon dioxide emitted during the so-called industrial period, agroforests can sustain the renewable equivalent of 100 years of Saudi Arabia's peak oil production, which actually represents about 11% of annual global oil production. This also tells us that the aforementioned agroforestry area has the potential to permanently remove CDR, and this in approximately less than 10 years, all industrial carbon emissions emitted during the entire industrial period. The consensus appears to be fully convinced that the accumulated industrial carbon emissions are almost entirely responsible for all climate challenges. We consider the wide range of beneficial climatic effects of carbon agroforests and carbon forests to be as important or even more important than the benefits recognized by consensus of the in this case natural removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, CDR, by carbon agroforests and carbon forests. Once the pre-industrial level or ideal level of carbon dioxide, we will discover the ideal level empirically, in the atmosphere is reached. 
The bi-gasification produced carbon-based products, graphite and potentially graphene, must be used more, and or recycled more frequently, in disfavor of direct high-intensity sequestering in carbon-rich forest soils, or else abundant minerals rich in carbon need to be mined and added and incorporated into the agroforest soils, as well as to forests and eventual traditional agriculture. This addition, application or spreading of mineral carbon, often limestone, was and still is a common practice globally especially in monoculture agriculture, among others to correct soil pH, but the general public is not familiar and not aware of this large-scale practice. This practice was used on a large scale during the misleadingly cold Green Revolution during the previous century. This so-called Green Revolution of the previous century should have been called the Fossil Fuel-Based Agricultural Revolution, and Fossil Fuel-Based Agricultural Revolution obviously played a significant role in the accumulation of high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as well as the current climate challenges. Obviously, a significant part of this carbon added to agricultural soils ended up and will end up in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide already during the period of application, as well as over time, in case a timely transformation in carbon agroforests does not occur, this because of global monoculture practices, which include plowing, tilling, and its consequent soil degradation and emission of carbon dioxide. Once these previously carbon-enriched soils are transformed into carbon agroforests, this added carbon minerals, which was added in the past when still under monoculture agriculture, will be quickly sequestered, CDR, in the carbon soils of the carbon forests. The revolution that truly deserves the name Green Revolution is the implementation of the In This Channel proposed action plan that is based on the transformation of already degenerated agricultural soils into carbon agroforests. These proposed carbon agroforests do not only produce abundant food, fuel and basic materials for 8 billion humans, but they also produce and supply the renewable economy and industry with the basic renewable materials and solutions, that also include graphene, graphite and similars, for solutions, industrial and manufacturing, to the real challenges and problems of renewable energies. The proposed carbon agroforests in the surrounding of cities with the renewable energies they produce and deliver to the cities render these cities, communities, etc., more safe haven, especially if the distribution in the cities etc. is performed by means of open smart grids. At this point these cities and safe havens also turn into true smart cities.